What is up, YouTubers? Warren Ertz here, and welcome back to some Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. Uh, today I'm using a Honey Badger, and I'm putting on White out. Um, but yeah, since today is a Tuesday, um, I thought I'd mix it up a bit, and uh, I want to speak to you all today about how YouTube copyrights its videos, um, because this is rather dear to me. Um, I've never really had a single video on YouTube that's been copyrighted whatsoever. I don't have any strikes or anything on my channel. Um, and I preferably want to keep it that way, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, quite a lot of people have been getting copyright strikes recently. Um, I was speaking to someone about it yesterday, actually. Um, yeah, he received a copyright strike on his channel um, because yeah, you uploaded some gaming videos. I don't know what of, um, but yeah, quite a few people have seen them cropping up on the channels, and I just want to cover some basic tips that I keep like doing um, constantly on every single video to prevent my videos from being copyrighted. Now, first thing I like to point out is that when you upload a gaming video to YouTube, you are not the lawful owner of the video. Um, this is because, uh, yeah, the game content is, like, being produced, technically, by the game developer. Um, so, when you're publishing a game like Call of Duty like this, um, the sole rights actually belong to the game developer. Um, and that also brings up a problem with monetization, because if you monetize your videos, you need the full rights to earn a video to monetize it. See, there is a way around this with the gaming community. Um, yeah, you will get often get companies like partnering, yeah, um, like Machinima, um, Yush, uh, TGN, that kind of thing. Um, and what they have done, they have signed contracts with the game developers to allow people like you guys to monetize your videos. Now, I do not monetize my videos myself. Um, Preferably because my mother doesn't want me to. I've no idea why. Um, but when I turn 18, I'm going to activate it. Um, so I know what I'm doing. Um, now, yeah, once you've got a monetization activated, um, yeah, you are actually permitted to upload gameplay. Um, but the problem is, um, the main reason why people are actually getting copyright strikes is because they are using in-game audio. See, the problem with this, um, you've got your regular gameplay, there's nothing wrong with that. But, the problem is, um, the game often contains music which has been copyrighted by some artist, um, like, for the game. So, yeah, technically you're publishing music, um, which isn't yours. So, rule number one that I always go by, uh, I compose my own music. Now, I know that's not going to be, like, everyone's cup of tea, um, but if you can do it, um, and you do enjoy creating music, it's something I advise that you do. So, you can get, like, royalty-free websites um, where they publish royalty-free music, and they give you all the rights to the song, um, yeah, using a Creative Commons license. Um, but when you create a song you t like yourself entirely, um, you own all the rights to the song. See, yeah, when you monetize your videos um, with a partnering company like Machinima, they can protect you against um, copyrightations from the game itself, but they cannot protect you from the audio. Um, yeah, if you put in-game audio in, so like you put music, like, I don't know, you might put some rock music in and it's copyrighted by someone. Um, that copyright claim is something entirely different to the game itself. So, yeah, another thing to point out about copyright is that, yeah, it's kind of hard to talk about. Um, yeah, say for example, um, you get a game developer, um, they publish a game, and, yeah, the only way in which it receives publicity is via the internet. Um, the game developer absolutely loves um, getting the game, like, out there and to all the public. Um, but you can also get other, de like, game developers that do not want their content on YouTube. So, this can kind of cause a problem, because, um, 
when it comes to Minecraft videos, um, I've uploaded about, yeah, maybe 70 videos of Minecraft on my channel. Not a single one of those has been copyrighted. That's because I've disabled the in-game audio and used my own music. Um, and, yeah, the game is something why where take minecraft for example minecraft is a um it gained its all of its publicity on youtube if it wasn't for youtube minecraft would have never got popular see that's a glory about minecraft um it's my favorite game for a start so it's why i played it but the fact that the game developer wants the content on youtube it allows you to um publish it much easier without getting yeah, yeah scrutinised for it. See, yeah, Call of Duty, this has been published by Activision, um, that you're watching now. Um, see, Activision can be slightly um, unusual. Um, see, what they can do, um, if you want the game on YouTube, um, so like to give it publicity, but anything along the lines of leaks, so... Yeah, say for example, um, you're talking about information that, like, a new perk in the game or something. Um, Activision don't want the public to know about that kind of thing. So, yeah, I've known many people at World, like, sneaky preview, like, weekend type of videos. Um, and that's not a really good road to go down, in my opinion, because um, when the game developer doesn't exactly want information being leaked about the game, um, yeah, you're gonna be, like, getting your hands in the dirt for it. So, ten I tend to not go down that route. Um, I just tend to play the game. Um, and, yeah, just enjoy it. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's kind of a hard subject. Um, copyright. See, another thing about copyright is that YouTube has changed, um, the copyright content ID scheme. Um, basically what it allows YouTube to do, it gives YouTube the full entire right to copyright a video um, by the permission of the artist. So, say for example you get a video, um, you put some music in it, um, YouTube will copyright that video um, without the artist knowing. And, yeah, in my opinion that's it's a really bad idea because um in my opinion it's making it sound like youtube is a lawful copyright owner of a video when in actual fact it's an artist see it's rather weird that subject um the content id system that youtube's got now is rather pretty bad i must admit um yeah, the fact that YouTube can copyright a video without the artist knowing is really bad. Um, yeah, because at the end of the day, it should be down to the artist's decision to copyright the video. Um, it's their content and they own it. So, yeah, that's my opinion on that. Um, but, yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, it's been rather short. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the Call of Duty gameplay. I finished on 26 and 14. Um, but yeah, guys, from me, I hope you've enjoyed it. Give it a like if you did. And yeah, peace out. So have a good one, everyone.